So there, you know, so there's just a, a zoo of these little kinds of scalings. So there are some very fundamental ones that are just floating around as well. So one of them is uh, gravity. Coulomb's law is, works in this way as well. But so the, the force of gravity between two objects of mass one and mass two, just multiply these so it increases linearly, right? This is a power of one here, a power of one here. And we live in three dimensions, so that's what the story is here. This is decreasing like a uh, inverse square law. And there's a sense here that that, that, that force as it goes out is, is equally kind of partitioned around the surface of the sphere that's at a distance, that it has a radius r, right? So as it goes out, it's still there, but it's, it's weakened in, because it's being spread out over more space. And I believe this is true. If you go back to Newton's original work, he, he tried all sorts of things. He had R squared on top and R to the fourth and did some funny things, right? He did some odd things that we would be a little surprised to see. Of course, he, you know, well, before he gave up and went off to the Mint and made lots of money, he was also into astrology and everything. So fun times. Um, now we just have conspiracy theories, right? OK. Um, <laughs> let's see. Shout out to the 17th letter of the alphabet. So. Uh, we, the, you know, these are really fundamental things. Of course, this is a phenomenological piece, right? We, this works. Uh, you know, we need to have general relativity to improve on it, but we just have it. Okay, so uh, this is the dimension of a sphere surface, right? So that's, that's that one over R squared. It's sitting there. It makes some sense. Uh, it turns out that there's a lot of human phenomena for which there's a, a version of this, right? So we live essentially in two dimensions, right? We, we like to, we have some stairs and things and some tall buildings, but uh, we live in two dimensions basically, right? So uh, if you think of cities being spaced out on a map and how much stuff goes between them or people and various things, there's a certain number of phenomena that follow this, right? So the amount of stuff that moves between cities, for example, at least maybe at points in time, uh, tended to behave as population one times population two divided by radius. And it's just radius to the power of one because now we're in two dimensions and we're just we're worried about the circumference and that's growing like two pi r. So there's a version of the gravity law and it doesn't apply for everything, but um, that, that generalizes. 